the best headset microphone for podcasting, less than $100. I've had a real interest in headset microphones for podcasting lately because they're just so nice and simple, compact, minimal in nature. They're easy to travel with. You just put them in your suitcase. Obviously, you don't need to carry around this big whole setup like a boom arm and the separate microphone like that. It's literally plug and play, plop it on your head, and there you go. And when you're recording, if you look away or do something like this, well, the microphone still follows you. So that was one reason. The other reason behind my interest in these low-cost headset microphones is that I wanted to find an option that I could send to my podcast guests because I do a podcast with local business owners. They don't generally have a podcast set up in their home like many of the regular podcasting circuit type of people do. So I wanted something that was low-cost and that I could send to them as well. Uh, just eat the cost on and on my end, just have a higher quality podcast. So I've got a few options here. I'm missing one on my desk at the moment, but I've got the Apple earbuds. So they come standard or did come standard with most um, most of our iPhones back in the day. Now they all have those wireless ones, which brings me to another point. Wired headsets, wired microphones generally or generally <laughs> at each price point produce a higher quality sound than wireless. So if you want good quality audio, your best bet is to go for a wired device. I do have a really nice pair of $300 Plantronics wireless headsets and they sound pretty good. They're good at the noise canceling and all, but you do get a little bit of a kind of underwater sound when you're recording with them. So I do look for my headsets at this point, headset microphones, to be wired when I'm looking for a podcast option. So we got the Apple earbuds here. You can pick them up for 25 bucks. Just plug into any device like that. Then uh, let's see here. We got the Sennheiser PC8. So Sennheiser PC8 right here that I picked up. This one runs less than 40, so 35 to 40 on Amazon. And it's gotten some top rankings, some pretty good reviews from other people in the podcasting space. I will say it does feel naturally pretty cheap, right? So it's pretty flimsy and thin. It's kind of like comparing like plastic silverware to stainless steel silverware. This one definitely has that plastic feel. Uh, and this one again, 35 to $40. Then I've got the Sennheiser SC75, which you see right here. And this one feels a lot better, higher up in the Sennheiser lineup. Picked it up for $86 on Amazon. And this one feels more like the real deal. And then finally, the one that I don't have on my desk when I started recording this is the Jabra Biz 1500. So Jabra Biz 1500, I picked that up for I think 105 on Amazon. I think it was 99 plus tax, so that got me 105. So barely meets that threshold for under $100, uh, excluding tax. But I picked that up, Jabra Biz 1500, and I'll put a little, well, by the time you're watching this, I'll already have it on the screen so that you can see it. Uh, it feels more like the Sennheiser. It is not too good feeling. This one, or it feels like the Sennheiser PC8, the Sennheiser... SC75 is in a league of its own in terms of quality and build and comfort on the earpieces there, whereas the Jobber Biz, even at $105 more than this one, uh, feels more like this $35 headset. But the real test is in audio quality. That's what we want to hear. So I'm going to go ahead and test these one by one. And then for the Apple earbuds, uh, the recording environment makes a big difference. So I'm really interested in what sounds the best in my little recording studio, which is basically my home office, a 10 by 12 room with 10 foot high ceilings. But I do take the Apple earbuds outside to a place where there's no echo or reverb because Apple earbuds do really pick up that echo and reverb. I take them out there and also record a sample out there. So we got an audio sample of each one of these devices. At the end of it all, I'm going to go back through and listen to them and give you my thoughts on which one I think is the best and the most economical option for recording a podcast from a headset microphone at less than $100. Let's jump into it. All right, I am now recording from my Apple earbud headphones here. I pulled up this little paragraph on elephants, first thing that came to my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and recite this paragraph, read it on all these devices so we can compare accurately. Remember, Apple earbuds, just plug and play, 3.5 millimeter jack, and they cost about 25 bucks. You can buy them on Best Buy right from Apple. So here we go. The largest land mammal on earth, the African elephant, weighs up to eight tons. The elephant is distinguished by its massive body, large ears, and a long trunk, which has many uses ranging from using it as a hand to pick up objects, as a horn to trumpet warnings, an arm raised in greeting, to a hose for drinking water or bathing. I wanted to let you guys hear what these Apple earbuds sound like in a different environment. And I know in my office there it's a 10 by 12 cube, it gets a lot of echo. 
But the reality is, is that in an optimized environment, these Apple earbuds can pick up pretty good quality sound. I know people that produce a pretty high level podcast using these Apple earbuds, and what they do is they record it from inside a closet where they've got clothes hanging in there, and that subsequently absorbs the sound. Now, here I'm outside, and uh, there's a little bit of wind going on. There's little, you know, birds chirping and stuff, so there should be some background noise in it. I'd expect that, but you should notice the audio probably sounds a lot better than it does inside of my office. So keep that in mind, these Apple earbuds can produce a high quality sound, but the recording environment is absolutely crucial. You have to be in a nice, uh, nice environment with minimal echo and reverb to get a high quality sound from these Apple earbuds. So you can compare them to what it was like in the office before and this one right now. On that note, let's go on to our next device. I'm now recording on the Sennheiser PC8. Again, $35 on Amazon for these. They don't feel the nicest. I mean, mind you, I've compared these to some very expensive headsets, like $200, ones that I've used in a call center before. And these things just kind of feel flimsy and thin. They feel legitimately like a plastic, like plastic silverware compared to true stainless steel silverware. So the, the feel and the comfort is not the best on them. You wouldn't want to plan on keeping these things on all day, but for an hour at a time, it is certainly feasible. The cord is very nice and long. That's good. Unlike my Apple earbuds where you see me, I'm kind of pulled up to the computer. These ones, I've got plenty of room to, uh, plenty of room to move around with them. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and read this paragraph now. Here we go. The largest land mammal on earth, the African elephant. I kind of totally botched that. This is a hard paragraph to read with a lot of commas. It's like two sentences and a bunch of commas. So here we go. Back to the paragraph. The largest land mammal on earth, the African elephant, weighs up to eight tons. The elephant is distinguished by its massive body, large ears, and a long trunk, which has many uses ranging from using it as a hand to pick up objects, as a horn to trumpet warnings, an arm raised in greeting to a hose for drinking water, or bathing. All right, so that's the Sennheiser PC8. Let's go on to the next device. This is now the Jabra Biz 1500, which ran me about 100 bucks on Amazon. Uh, it feels like the Sennheiser PC8. Like I said, there's you know other headphones out there, other headsets. When you put them on, they feel like they are you know fighter jet cockpit quality or something. This is not one of them. This is definitely feeling like thin plastic. So it's comparable in feel to the Sennheiser PC8. I would not want to wear this thing all day, but for recording a podcast, it is a perfectly viable and wearable option. I do like that it just has one cord coming down from my ear, uh, whereas opposed to this thing, I've got the two. So you really feel, I don't know, you feel tied in there, whereas this you just feel wired in. I don't know if that made any sense. Anyways, this is the Jobber Biz 1500. I'm going to go ahead and read this paragraph on African elephants. Here we go. The largest land mammal on earth, the African elephant, weighs up to 8 tons. The elephant is distinguished by its massive body, large ears, and a long trunk, which has many uses ranging from using it as a hand to pick up objects, as a horn to trumpet warnings, an arm raised in greeting to a hose for drinking water or bathing. Here we go with the Sennheiser SC75 on my head right now. I have to say, this is the best feeling headset of all the ones in this test. Hopefully, it sounds reflectively good in the sound quality. Let me read this passage on elephants for the final time. Here we go. The largest land mammal on Earth, the African elephant, weighs up to 8 tons. The elephant is distinguished by its massive body, large ears, and a long trunk, which has many uses ranging from using it as a hand to pick up objects, as a horn to trumpet warnings, an arm raised in greeting to a hose for drinking water or bathing. So there we have it. That's how I sound on the Sennheiser SC75. Priced at 86 bucks on Amazon. That's for the Duo. For the Mono, it is only one. So you only get, or for the Mono, it's only one. Yes, we know that. For the Mono, you only have one earpiece, but it's a few bucks cheaper on there. So keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and listen to all these audio samples here and see what sounds the best. Here we go. Now recording with the headset microphone that I thought sounded the best out of all of these, and that is the Sennheiser PC8 for less than $40, about $35 on Amazon. A uh, couple things I'll point out. Number one, the Sennheiser SC75 that I got in my hand here, it picked up the audio good, but that mic was really sensitive. I don't know if you caught on to it, but all my breathing was picked up by this mic along with all of my lip smacking. So, you know, even though it's higher up in the Sennheiser line, 
I thought the audio quality of this little PC-8 was a fair bit better. I'd rather use this Sennheiser PC-8. And then there was the Jabra Biz 1500 uh, up at around $100 at price point. It just sounded... I don't, it just didn't sound as clear as either this one or the other Sennheiser, and the volume was much lower. All these files are raw audio. I didn't edit anything or adjust volume levels or anything, but it spit out a really low, low volume. So I didn't like that, and it didn't sound as clear. I was rather unimpressed or really unimpressed with that Jabra Biz 1500. And finally, there are the Apple earbuds there. As, I, as you see in between the two samples of Apple earbud audio that I did, the recording environment makes a huge, huge, huge difference. Uh, I do know, as I mentioned, I do know people that produce a relatively high quality podcast with these. And what they do is they record in a closet where they've got clothes around them absorbing the sound. So it's a totally viable option to do that. Uh, I would say these are probably my second choice option behind the PC-8. Uh, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and I'm also going to do another test in a separate video with some higher end headset microphones up around the $200 price point, see what we get. But bottom line, if you're thinking about starting a podcast on a low budget or just want to be minimal with it, pick up a pair of these PC-8s on Amazon, less than 40 bucks. They produce really good quality audio. You're not going to get the top of the line podcast audio, but you're going to get good enough quality audio that you sound professional out there on your podcast. So hope that helps you guys in your decision on buying a headset mic for your podcasting.